Greetings! Welcome to another episode, or, well, well, to a new series, rather. Let's begin this properly. To a new series, I'm just gonna call, let's do a level of Startopia. So, I finally decided to do this. Anyway, that intro really didn't explain anything about this game, did it? Except maybe a little bit of the level of humor it's gonna involve. Well, let's go in. Now, the reason why I was hesitant to do anything about this series is because there's only 10 missions. Well, there's more if you do the tutorials as well, but yeah, that's really not that fun to watch. And I'm supposing there's, there could be user missions. I don't have any of those. So, the regular standard campaign missions it's gonna be. And most of these I would actually categorize as easy, and uh, let, let's just go one by one to show which ones I find easy. The easy, 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 average, easy, more or less easy. So just the first hurdle that's a bit difficult. This one uh, has a difficulty rating of what the hell? Easy. Are you taking the piss? And then, all right, I see where you're going. That's basically how I think it. There's a strange jump in difficulty when you get to the Casphagorian Kingdom, but essentially you'll be doing the same thing over and over and over again. Um, which is probably why it's best. It's only ten missions, because otherwise you might get a little bit burned out. But uh, enough time wasted. Let's, uh, let's start, and I'll just try to explain it. It's the reason why I'm not doing the tutorials, because aside from the fact that they will show a little bit of the humor of the game and all that, uh, the, the, just take time. And I can explain pretty much how things work as you go through this, because it takes a while before the game actually uh, takes off the, um, the training wheels and really gives you full control over what you're doing. Anyway, mission one. The Grudian Workers' Party. Right, we'll have to wait for the mission toast, and there it is. This glistening before you like a jewel is the Grulian Way Station. I welcome you to it. Permit me to introduce myself. I am Val, a virtual artificial life form. It is my task, and possibly my pleasure, to assist you during your time at this way station. The mission assigned to you, if I may be so bold, is as follows. Your employers, the Grulian Workers' Party, require you to turn this way station into somewhere the asteroid miners can relax between their arduous shifts. I shall be on hand to aid you, of course, and I wish you luck, speed, and freedom from stupidity. Yep. Nothing will enter or exit the way station without a docking portal. You must build one with the hard plan crate provided. Two crates containing scuzzer droids have also been provided to aid you in this task. When you've completed it, vessels will be able to connect with the station and cargoes of goods or people can arrive or leave. It's vital, so you should start its construction immediately. Immediately, I said. Mm. Your objective is to build a docking portal. Use the hard plan crate provided. I look forward to your construction with great eagerness. All right, so we have got a sarcastic uh, computer to help us. Right, let's deploy the scuzzers first, your basic worker droids. They build and maintain all your facilities. These are Mark I scuzzers, which I find kind of adorable, but very limited in what they can do. I should put the portal over here. We've also got an energy collector over here. Consider this sort of your uh, main power plant as well as your bank. All species need to rest sometimes. It's a universal truth. So I suggest you build a berth containing at least five sleeping pods. You'll need to use the hard plan crate provided. There will be no sleep until you've done it. Yeah, they're being really hands-on. Your the objective is to build a berth with at least five sleeping pods using the hard plan crate. I trust this will not overtax your abilities. 
No, it doesn't. Right. Let's deploy it. Now, actually, I can deploy it like this, or I can go to the, uh, the right-click menu to hard pen items and just do that. It does the same thing. Alright, let's put the berth over here. Now, I want it one, two, three, four, five, six. And the uh, sleeping pods are too wide. Uh, too long and one wide. So I won't be able to get a few in there. But I think that's big enough. Right, slumber pod. I need at least five. So I'm gonna give them six. I'll put a door here, a door there, and I don't notice the room isn't big enough. So we'll make it one bigger. And do that again. We don't need to really add more to it because frankly we don't have the end. Well, actually we have loads of energy, but that's not the point. You can also spruce up the room with a chronom chronometer and an image projector. It doesn't need it. I like to do it anyway. Alright, so now that I've finished that, the scuttles will come over to start building it. Yep, yeah, there they go. And uh, let's give them a hand. Just pick things up with the left mouse button, and then deploy them again with the same button. Which can cause all sorts of hilarious misclicks. Let's also uh, extend this window a bit. It's not necessary, but it allows you to see a mini-map of the station itself. We can only use the outer ring at the moment, so that's all we're going to do. A lavatron is required. These units sanitize, refresh and clean anyone entering them. Some races are cleaner than others, but at least with a lavatron you're giving them the option to divest themselves of all the germs, goo and unhygienic horridness that they may be caked in. Again, you'll need to use the hard plan crate. Yeah, that's pretty much true for everything. Alright, let's get it going. And where do I want to put it? Let's, let's actually put it next to the blocking ports, probably. Now, um, I'll put it over here. Alright, he's got uh, something to say. Your visitors are hungry. Yeah, that's because I don't have a dynamite. But we first got our first visitor, a Grudian salt hog, called Bevi Favgav. A model citizen. That's pretty much all I know. So, anyway, this is, is a minimap of the station basically, or, and all we can see right now is the uh, indu industrial ring where we are now, or the, uh, the technical deck as it's called in the game. This is where most of the business will be taking place, especially in these first few missions. Right. Things seem to be going well. My fears that you'd be a disaster appear unfounded. Waystation Zeton Setoi imploded a while ago when its supervisor unprimed the flux discharge tunnels and the static megaburst instantly turned the place back into star stuff. No, oh, don't worry. The design of that place was nothing like this. Uh, not a business. You must construct a dynamat using the hard plan crate. This will feed the population. At least until it gets much larger. Right then. Basically, just some there that people can eat. Just plonk that down anywhere. I usually build these in pairs the Lavatron and the Dynamax. There's no specific reason for it aside from the fact that once people have eaten, they will need to empty their well, intestines. Let's go with that. I absolutely have no idea what's in the inside of a Grudian Salt Hog. I'm gonna guess they're mammalian, but I could be wrong. Your droids are working hard. As I have to say are you. However, you don't need recharging and they do. A droid recharger is your construction task. Unless you are denser than an embryonic antiquasar, you'll know by now that you'll need a hard plan crate to do this. Indeed I do. A recharge are very vital for keeping your droids alive. And I do mean alive, because if they run out of power they might self-destruct. 
Congratulations, your progress is certainly impressive. An impartial observer might comment that you have the luck of the roulette playing Decapus of Axis Prime. Thank you. Supervisor, your lack of ineptitude is a blessing, <laughs> so it's time to open a new segment. This will give you a new area in which to expand. You may congratulate yourself, but not for long. There is much to do. You are aware of how the hard plan crates operate, and you'll need this knowledge to construct a wealth of new units. If I wasn't so cynical, I'd be quite excited at the prospect. Yay, so now I get a new segment. Open the bulkhead door, Supervisor. This I urge you. Which in this case is free. Oh, look at all that mess. A recycling plant is urgently required. Efficiency is everything in space. By recycling, you'll convert waste, almost any waste, back into energy. Four salt hogs are required to work the recycling plant, but more of that later. Your first task is to build it in a useful position. All right then. I assume I got a... Yep, there it is. A hard plant crate. Recycler. Now you can put these anywhere you want, really. Orientation doesn't matter much. I find that it's neat that you can actually fit one right between these two things. The uh, lift and the uh, control panel. And let's also expand this a bit. Because we need a few more slumber pods, I think. And since I've got energy to spare, that's fine. And boom, there they come. Your objective now is to build a recycling plant. A hard plan crate is provided naturally. Yeah, that is naturally. Right there, building that. We also have this structure over here, which is a... Um, what is it called? And a power booster. Good, the recycling plant is built. But as I said, you need four salt hogs to operate it. Hire them using the hire menu. Remember that although it pays to get the best, it also costs... Hmm, I must write that down. It's a useful saying. Yes, indeed it is. Right, so now since we only got salt hogs, that's gonna be a very easy thing. We have to recruit from our visitors. Now, I prefer salt hogs that are dedicated and loyal because, well, they serve two functions, both to operate most of the basic machinery uh, we have down here, and also later on as your uh, combat troops. Since I'm not too worried about power, I'm gonna try to... Of course he's in a pod. Alright, fine. Wake up! He's clean as a star whistle, that's good. Now keep in mind this CV might be lying to me, but for now I'm gonna accept that it's gonna be good because it's the first level. Residents need love. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. Let's let's continue. Right, shove the now out. Also, still in a pot. Busy. Yeah. Well, I just need four at the moment. So we'll focus on that. He's broke. He's gonna leave. That's not. I'm gonna hire you, and now you're rich again. Now keep in mind that any alien you hire doesn't actually have to pay for any of the services in your station again. So it doesn't really do you any good to hire everyone in sight. I pick the ones that are always busy. Right, come on. Plenty of people want to get in and out. There he is. Alright. Citizen, come and one more. Mardi looks you. And he just finished his rest. All right. Oh. Yeah. All right. You join me as well. Good. Supervisor, why not help your scuzzer droids by beaming up rubbish and junk and dropping it directly into the recycler? Or is such a menial task below you? Not really, especially considering my guests are such messy pigs. Which creates a lot of vermin. Well, creates is a big word. It attracts a lot of vermin. Alright, I'm my buffer is full, so I need to get rid of it. Who are you? 
I am familiar with all the way station supervisors from the Grulian worlds through the six voids right up to the Kelpian black hole. Must be you. In which case, I am Arona Dahl, most respected of the free traders. Delighted to meet you. Anyway, I'm in this sector offloading some late vintage mucus wine. And as I have a couple of scuzzer droids I don't require, I thought I should give you first refusal. You'd be getting a bargain if you took them. Sure, why not? That's not a bargain, though. But I'll take them anyway. Alright, so that gets me my buffer. Put them down. Boy. Alright, let's make sure that there's no more stuff on the floor. You do have to be a little bit careful when you do that. Sometimes you might accidentally pick up the scenery. When you really don't want to. Now, I don't want any vermin on the station because that will attract things that are much, much worse. But for this first mission it should be fine. Right? Supervisor, why not help your scuzzer droids by beaming up rubbish and junk and dropping it directly into the recycler? Or is such a menial task below you? A supervisor, I must demand your immediate attention. Some technology crates have arrived and I insist that you open them without further delay. Today reminds me of the Grulian Festival of Grimbus, when a random selection of gifts and low-grade toxins are handed to the youngsters, who either squeal with delight or choke as their ventricles are temporarily paralyzed. Yay, technology. The technology crates require unpacking. I suggest this should be your next task. Right, so opening one of these gives you access to the heart plan and so you can build them whenever you like. So we can now build a Lavatron, a Dynamat and another Birth. Which is now available from the build menu over here. You are busy and therefore it gives me pleasure to interrupt you, Supervisor. <laughs> Three tasks await your attention. You must construct another Dynamat, a Lavatron, and a Birth. Your population is increasing, and if you neglect these tasks, you could face a mob of hungry, smelly, tired customers. And I wouldn't wish that on you, frankly. Well, at least he's being honest and kind. Alright, since we need to do that, uh, let's build another Birth. At the moment, it doesn't really matter where we build it, so just duplicate the one I already have. Now you can make these pretty much any size you want, as long as you have the power for it. However, there are certain uh, considerations in making the things a little bit more practical. Alright, and we'll just put in a Lavatron over on this side. And another Dynamo. Uh, the reason why I'm placing the dynamite like that is more for uh, for practice, because later on I will be surrounding it with other stuff that could be important, like uh, litter bins, for instance, which I cannot build at the moment. Alright, let's keep the litter off. Now my uh, scuzzle droids should really be taking care of that, but they have no idea what they're doing. Probably buildings. Yeah, they're building. So we'll do that ourselves. But anyway, like I was saying, your energy collector over here is basically your power plant and your bank. If you run out of power, you can't build anything. For obvious reasons. And there's a limit to how much power a single energy collector can store. In this case, it's around uh, 10,000 mm, I've seen supervisors come and go but you look like you were doing well here I remember old Migby Pariah he looked like a 2D laser copy of himself when that bile worm eventually crawled out serves him right I suppose listen you don't want to buy it no I can see you're not into that the stuff I have is shockingly strong. Sorry, shouldn't have mentioned it. The sort hogs you previously hired are good workers, 
and in line with your current expansion. It might be an excellent idea to bring the total number of Salt Hog employees up to six. Use your skill, judgment and instinct to pick those that won't let you down. Right, so we need to hire a few more Salt Hogs, that's fine. We can also have a look at our residents. Alright, we're gonna I'm gonna go with the same scheme that I've been following, dedication and loyalty. Dedication me basically means that they uh, stay at their jobs longer than they otherwise would. Skill is obvious. They're better at their jobs, but since they're pretty much just pushing a button <laughs> to recycle trash, I'm not that concerned that they will me uh, mess that up. And loyalty will um, determine how long they will stay in a fight once it starts. It seems that you're either a competent supervisor or you're lucky. Either way, your station is a success and you will not now suffer the fate of one supervisor many years ago. His name, I recall, was Migby Pariah. What happened to him? Oh, he had a bile worm implanted in his central eye. When it finally crawled out of his toe, it was nine meters long. The Grulian culture can be cruel, but it's also rather beautiful, don't you agree? By the way, make sure all your visitors have adequate facilities. All right. It would be wise to make sure there are enough facilities to service those aboard, Supervisor. Keep a close eye on your facilities and build more if you see they're being overused. Well, so far it seems all right. right to, to see if anything is overused, I can uh, check this. Seems there's a little bit of lag in sleep. They could use a little bit more uh, lavatory facilities and they're a little bit hungry. There's not much I can do about that. But I might as well just build another dynamite. And another Lavatron. There, that should be enough. Now, I was talking about what the power booster does, doesn't it? Um, it's basically a sort of substation for your energy collector. Because uh, there is a certain radius around the energy collector that buildings will uh, function normally in. But as you get further away, the less power you have, the less ability the energy, uh, energy collector has to power those facilities. Yeah, it sounds more Excuse complicated. Excuse my interruption, but I have new orders from the Grulian Workers' Party Secretary. You are to expand the way station into a communications relay post. I assure the GWP that you're capable of this. I hope this faith in you is not misplaced. Otherwise, we'll both be visiting the Labour Exchange on Prodar 6. You. Oh, Grey Travellers have also been granted access to the station. How delightful. Yes, very delightful. Uh, anyway, in order to prevent any rooms from shutting down from a lack of power, you build power boosters. Which also increase the amount of power you can store in your uh, energy collector. They do, however, require a little, little bit of power to use. But you can be assured that you will not lose any buildings while you're, while you're expanding, as long as you have a couple of these. At strategic locations. The GWP have dispatched a number of TARG communication experts to your station. Whilst members of the TARG make good workers, don't be fooled by their insectile nature. The TARG are a proud race. They would say haughty and aloof. The rest of us say miserable. Your task is to keep your TARG employees happy. Keeping employees content is an unwelcome but necessary part of every supervisor's role. Who knows? One day you may even make me happy. Yeah, maybe. The new TARG employees need looking after, Supervisor. Remember, they're an entirely different race. Ensure your facilities can accommodate them comfortably. Sure, sure. Two hard plan crates have been provided. From these, you may build two comm sensors. After all, if you want to expand, you must communicate with the outside universe. 
That's an old Grulian cliche, if you must know. All right, let's build the comm sensors. Now, only, um, only the talk may uh, work at these. Which are basically these insectoid species. Uh, the talk are also part of the combat troops. If you get ever get to that point. So again, dedication and loyalty is more what you're looking for. If you're I apologize for tearing you from your presumably vital work, but an emergency message is arriving via the comm sensor channels. Okay. Right, so we get sick people. Well, that's both bad and good. Come on, Val, give me something. Give me a quest. You know, we could cure that ailing diplomat if only we had a sick bay. What course of action should we take? You are clearly a supervisor of great ability. I have something you might like. I've never offered this to anyone else, but I have a nearly new sick bay. It's yours if you want it. I never thought I'd sell it as it was a gift from four of my mothers. But I like your face, so it's yours if you're interested. Yes, I'm interested. It's at least a decent price. Alright, so we build that from the Heartland items. Uh, rules for a sick bay are much the same as those for a birth. Alright. That's probably big enough. Alright, we need diagnosis units. And let's just build a couple of them. And we'll need some sick bay waiting couches. Alright, that should be enough. Now we need some greys to work that. Now greys... If I can find any... Yeah. Also take part in the fighting. However, for them you really want skill rather than just dedication and loyalty. Because they are the doctors. Also the only race that can be a doctor. So let's uh, go figure that out. Let's filter by uh, these guys and you. All the citizens, yeah. Right. Don't have too many skilled greys, and one of them just left. Alright, you can be a doctor. You are way too expensive, but I'll take you. We have a sick bay. Now we need a grey alien to operate it. Find one and hire him immediately. There's no time to lose if we're to save the ailing diplomat. And. It's a little bit annoying when it. Aliens that are leaving or entering because you can't focus on them. Right? Now each diagnosis unit can house one grade operated, so you should ideally plan to at least have to have at least as many grades as you have diagnosis units. Good news from the sick bay supervisor: the diplomat who arrived on the Zedum shuttle Surandai has made a full recovery. Apparently, he drank some bad mucus wine. You, it seems, ought to be congratulated on your handling of this delicate incident. Well, sweet. I also got a couple of gold medals. I kept the station clean, I think, that, that means. It doesn't explain what these medals mean, actually, so... Everybody was healthy and all that. Anyway, that's it for the first level of Startopia. Uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time.